This is what makes this play so special. There's three defenders coming at this guy. I get that pitch out. I suck in all three. You know what I mean? Like that's what makes this play so crazy. The second I flip it out, there's three defenders crashing with the quarterback, leaving this guy here, which is essentially just a one-on-one -on -one and nothing but space to the running back. And you can see when I get that pitch out, I mean, we're just, everything's blocked up for at least 20 yards. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got some uh, more plays for you guys today out of my pistol offense. Uh, if you guys have been following this channel at all, you know that I've been rocking this pistol playbook for going on a month now. I put out several schemes. I'll have links in the description for the ones that I've already put out. Uh, ones like the Full House I already put out, the Week I already put out. Um, these are all really great formations. Uh, some of which, though, you can't find in regular playbooks and custom playbooks. Like I know a lot of people want to put these schemes into their uh, custom book so today i'm going to focus on one that you guys can put in your custom playbook and that's the pistol strong this is a formation that i've been working on for a while one of the better running formations in this for, uh, particular book a lot of really great run plays before i get into that i'm going to make a couple of adjustments number one i'm going to put uh, the package setting to dual halfback flip i want my number one running back to be here at this fullback spot so i'm going to have my number one running back there my backup in the uh, the normal spot and behind me and then i'm also going to uh, do the audibles so let's go ahead and let's go back into that I'm going to set up my audibles all my run plays typically when I run these formations my run plays are going to be my audibles one of my favorites is going to be the triple option switch uh, that one right there another really good one is going to be the triple option slip this one's probably my favorite I average close to eight yards of carry you can see I run it the most uh, then on the next play down I'm going to use the uh, halfback off tackle this one might be the most explosive this is another reason why both of these running plays here are why you want your best running back at that fullback spot because you can see that's pretty much the guy who's going to get the ball then i'm going to go with my last play one of my biggest complaints about this run formation is there's really six run plays that you can use uh, and you only have the ability to run five different uh, run plays so you have to leave one out so i have to choose between the halfback power o the halfback stretch and the halfback counter i would say personally that the halfback stretch is the one that i would leave out uh, but you really have to choose between them so i put the halfback power o as my fourth audible then my fifth, I'll just pick halfback count. I'll probably have to come back for the halfback stretch. So these are going to be, all, all these run plays are good. There's so many good run plays in this formation. There's six in total. And then I'll also probably show a pass play before this is all said and done. I'm also going to show the 494 F flat. It's a really good uh, one play touchdown. Now before I get into this video, as always, I just want to give a shout out to my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up uh, with all these end game type cards dropping right now, check them out. Link in the description below. Use this guy code money shot to get 5% off. So. On a play like this, I would say that the uh, the halfback power up, based off the fact that I don't really have a lot of outside separation, I'm just going to shoot for this gap. So we can really get, you can see, I mean, that really opens up. It looks like there's nothing really there. If we go to the replay, that's a really good stack box. This is that 3-3-5 look a lot of people are running. Uh, and you can see how this power play just goes right inside. It's not a huge gap, but you can see how that pulling guard, I mean, that pulling tackle, rather, just basically opens up and just frees you right in the middle. Like I said, the halfback power, oh, one of the better run plays in this formation. When it comes to the you choose between inside runs like the power O or the counter, you're really just looking for which side has a bigger opening. Like right here, you have a bigger opening to the power O side. So this would definitely be a better option than you can see. We have nothing but space. I mean, I was almost going there. I don't know how that guy caught me. Now, if you have a stacked box like this, and it looks like we have a blitzer as well, um, you have a couple different options. I'm going to go with the triple option uh, switch because this play here, I should be able to get around this. So all we have to do, hold this button, flip it out, and you can see right there, even though they have a, an amazing amount of outside contain, it's no real uh, challenge when it comes to a play like this. Let's go, let's go to the replay. Um, like I said, you can hold A to hand it off. Obviously, there's not a lot of opportunity there. But when it comes to pitching this ball, you just want to make sure you hold this as long as possible. You will get the pitch out. Even if the guys make contact, you can see that blitzer did come off the backside. A lot of times, I will hold it until my quarterback is making contact just to make sure that this defender can't turn his attention to the running back. And then you can see when I get that pitch out, I mean, we're just, everything's blocked up for at least 20 yards. I mean, this guy right here was the only guy. He gets off the block just in time. I probably should have took that inside. I tried to stretch it out and get around him. Uh, but you can see, I me 
mean, there's nothing but opportunity here. The second that pitch gets out, you're immediately uh, in free space, and that's really what these plays are all about. But you can see, I mean, that's, you know, if you have a spacing look, that's going to be a good way to go. Now, here, I could go any number of ways, but I'm going to hit the off tackle because this is a perfect opportunity based off the fact that we don't have a cornerback out on this left side. So this play here, it's a lot like the zone read, but you don't have to actually hold A to hand it off like you did the zone read. You can see this is essentially the exact same thing, and we're getting a huge run. If you get that look, this is going to be a great play for that. And I'll go to the replay once again to basically hammer that point home. You can see there's nothing out here. Like on this side, if I would have ran it to the other side, obviously there's a cornerback or a safety waiting right here in the box. This right here, so if they have, if they pack it tight like this to try to stop any inside runs, there's no real inside gaps. The second you take it outside, there's nothing but space out here. Now, I don't even really have good blocking receivers. And you can see these guys, they get off the edge. You know what I mean? They don't hold that block very long. But I'm in full sprint, so all I have to do is just trust the alley, take that lane, and we have a very easy run. So I'm going to focus on, even though, you know, I could run on this next play here, I could run just about anything I want, but I'm going to go with the triple option switch because I feel, or triple option slip, I should say. This one here I feel like is one of the better plays to run. Uh, it's another play where you can really flip this play out. And for whatever reason, I feel like a lot of times when I do that, I get like a speed boost. So I'm, I'm glad we're getting a lot of three through five looks. Here's another opportunity. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go with the triple option slip. Now this play here, <clears throat> I wish this play and flip i don't know why it's the same formation but the but the tight end comes across it is what it is but i'm going away from that box safety one more time uh, and then this play here we get that pitch out which once again is going to be what creates all the separation now in that play my quarterback is hemmed in with three defenders you know what i mean like this is what makes this play so special there's three defenders coming at this guy i get that pitch out i suck in all three you know what i mean like that's what makes this play so crazy the second i flip it out there's three defenders crashing on the quarterback, leaving this guy here, which is essentially just a one-on-one -on -one and nothing but space. That's what makes these pitch plays so cheap, is you can basically um, take disadvantages and turn them into instant advantages just by hitting the LB button. It's insane. Here's another counter opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Um, as you can see, I mean, that's just, you know, that, that's just as wide a lane as you're going to get. Anytime you see that look uh, where you have... Um, the defensive end out wide from the defensive tackle. This is a perfect opportunity for a counter run. As you can see, we got nothing but daylight. The, the linebacker here came off pretty quick, but you can see it's still too late. I mean, that's a huge run lane. You know what I mean? You're going to have that pretty much all game if you watch uh, for this type of look where essentially you just have um, you know this type of separation. But yeah, I don't really have a favorite run play. I would say I would say you know it's, it's all based off the reads. Like right here, I, I obviously don't want to go in the direction of um, you know the left there. It looks like they have a box safety. It looks like it might be uh, you know he might be coming on a blitz. So I can either go the other way, get that pitch out, and then boom, we're just off to the races. And you can see there's nothing really out here. It's a very hard formation to stop, very hard run scheme to stop, and it's all based off of the fact that uh, your opponent um, really can't pre-diagnose anything because you have so many different angles that you can attack. You have so many different places you can go. Even here, if I really wanted to, I could go right up the middle with the triple option slip. I just hold the A button, hand it off to the running back, although I don't really recommend that. That's probably the least explosive uh, play you can get out of this. I'm only going to do one pass play, one one-play touchdown against, uh, I mean, it's a play that I can run against just about anything. We'll go ahead and we'll pick the 494F flat. I'll show a one-play touchdown out of it soon, but let's just go and let's go against Rand defenses to start i don't really have a ton of adjustments when it comes to a play like this i would say the only thing i would do is motion this guy in uh motion him in put him on a slant put him on a streak this is just if you're dinking and dunking i have a one play touchdown that i'll show here in a second but it's really all about this table route i just want to steal these short routes pretty much all game uh and if i have these um these outside guys on a slant or a comeback like i said there's an, any number of adjustments i can make i can do something kind of like this where i have this one guy on an in route uh, because that's really all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to work. I mean, the Titans are a pretty good man beater. As you can see right there, was an all out man blitz. As far as this play goes, there's really only one adjustment when it comes to the one play touchdown. It's going to be motioning in this guy here. So I would get into the habit of doing that. I would just motion him in. Um, but you have, like, if it's a man coverage, you have some pretty good man comebacks for the man coverages. Um, you have your tight end, which is a good man coverage beater. Uh, and then your running backs are going to be the zone coverage beaters. These are going to be the, uh, the guys um, that, you know, if they're open right away, you take them right away. The tight end is pretty much going to be open against zones a lot of the times, too, as you can see right there. It looked like a cover two. So as far as uh, the patch is concerned, I really feel like only cover three got patched. Uh, so that's the play that I'm going to go over. I mean, this is something that you can do um, from a lot of different formations. All I'm going to do is I'm going to run this from a hash mark, and I'm going to run to the open side of the field. That's going to be the most important thing. I'm going to motion in this X route here. 
put him on a fade. Sometimes a streak will, uh, the, the receiver will go straight towards the center of the field. I want him to stay outside. So the fade is going to be the look. Then I'm going to put the B route on a streak and I'm going to block my running backs. That's pretty much all I got to do. And then I'm just basically waiting for this, uh, this outside cornerback here to basically lose interest with this receiver. And you can see we get over the top for an easy one play touchdown. Now that separation wasn't great. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll run it again, but I'm going to go to the replay real quick uh, just to show you guys what to watch for because I'm not sure that I threw the ball at the right time. So all, ultimately, I mean, Jalen Hurst doesn't really have the strongest arm either. That's probably part of the problem. It's like an 84. Uh, but this guy here, we're just watching this cornerback that's supposed to be running with this receiver. He will eventually slow down and turn his attention to the tight end. Uh, which is coming over and across her. And when he slows down like that, I should already be throwing the ball. So you can see right here, if I go back, I'm already winding up. If I get that uh, look, that's all I really have to do. And you can see it's an easy one-play touchdown. But like I said, it would probably help if I had a little bit more on from Jalen Hurts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. You can see how, um, you know, it's definitely definitely consistent. You can fade both receivers. I don't really find necessarily does a ton, but it, it guarantees that they both have outside release. Uh, and then you can see how over the, it's an easy one play touchdown over the top. Uh, it's all timing based, so you definitely have to have some timing down. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the pistol offense, uh, I plan on doing some uh, normal playbooks again. I plan on going back to probably the Niners, uh, maybe maybe the Saints. I'm not 100% sure. Saints, Raiders. Let me know in the comment section what playbook you'd like to see me focus on. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. i out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.